The cats are out in force on this one as we check out a new cat feeder by Calido. Now this one here, you can set up a schedule to feed your pets. You can feed them manually. You can also feed them on demand. It stores a lot of food. It holds a desiccant bag to keep the food dry. I think this is the perfect solution for anyone with a bunch of pets that need to be fed. In this episode, we're going to take a look at this Calido Wi-Fi automatic cat feeder. Pet food feeder, but it's really designed, I think, more for cats than, say, dogs. And basically what you do is you load your kibble in it, and it will automatically feed on a schedule, and it's Wi-Fi controlled. So let's unbox this bad boy and see what's in the package. I hear one meowing at the door, so maybe we'll get to test it out pretty quick. So open up the box. And remove the unit. This is strictly going to be an unboxing and demo. I'm not going to be tearing this one down. Not that there's probably much to see inside it. Be a circuit board and some type of controller to drop the food. Okay, inside here, it says open now, peel the sticker off, and inside is going to be the feeding tray, and probably the power adapter. I believe it runs on batteries as well, so if you don't have an outlet close by, you can run it off of batteries. For the demo, I'm just going to plug it in, set it up, and plug it in and fill it up and we'll test it out. It's got the feeding bowl which is removable to clean. So the bowl sits in there like that and this sits into the front. So we just snap that together just like that. That piece snaps on just like that. The bowl sits in there just like that, and the cover. So this is where you would put a desiccant pack, like in here, right? So you've got a desiccant pack to remove moisture. That's to keep the food fresh. And obviously when the desiccant pack gets saturated, then you would replace it. And it's just a bag of silica gel. And our instructions. It says, do not use wet, canned, or moist food. You think? Don't use outdoor, for indoor, household use only. Don't let small children play with it, obviously. We connect power. Uh, it's got a battery compartment on the back. And you can install batteries. Of course, it can be paired to your Wi-Fi network, so you can, with the app, you can feed your pets manually. We'll try that out. But first things first, let's uh, set it up. The battery compartment is on the bottom. It takes, looks like, three D cells, but that's where you would load your batteries. I don't think I need to do that right now, but I will power, I will plug in the power cord, which also plugs into the bottom here. So the power cord plugs in right here, and then runs through there. Just like that. Oh, it says batteries are for backup, so they want you to have it plugged in because obviously the batteries will run down if it's running exclusively on batteries. To clean the food container, you just rotate it counterclockwise and it will lift off just like that. So then you can clean the food spout and the con container itself and then to put it back on, just drop it in place and give it a turn. The desiccant pack goes into here, that's to keep the food dry, so we'll open this up. Obviously, it's a sealed bag so that it is fully activated when you get it at home. Pop open the desiccant container, drop your desiccant pack in there, and close it up. That'll keep the food fresh. Well, all we need to do is connect it to the Wi-Fi network, get the app on it, load it with some food, and then we'll test it with the cats. And it says your kibble. It's recommended the kibble size. So don't put it in too big a kibble or it might uh, not work properly. 
So let's uh, plug it in and we'll connect it to the Wi-Fi network. Then I'm going to load it up with some food, take it in the house, plug it in, and test it on the cats. So of course before I load this up with food, we're going to obviously clean it first, wash the container out, and so forth. So I'm just connecting it to the Wi-Fi network now. I'm in installing the app right now. Got it off the Play Store. You can either scan the QR code or just download it. And uh, once I get this connected, there are buttons on the front to lock and unlock it. It says when it's unlocked, the unlock indicator is on. There we go. Now it's unlocked. So now when I tap this button, it should operate the feeder, which it does. So every time you press the feed button on the front, it uh, will automatically move ahead and add more feed. The app is installed on my phone, so I'm going to launch it and follow the directions. It says simple to use, start to use. Okay, so of course they want to know your email. Why is it that everyone wants you to create an email? I guess I have to click sign up and enter an email address and they're going to send me a verification code so they want to know what your email is. If you don't want to use the app then you just have to just press the button manually I guess. So I'll just set up my demo test account. Once I've signed up with my throwaway email and signed in it says add device. So I click on add device and uh, of course it wants to know my permissions only while using this app. And it says, is this what I've got? Yes, it is. So I click on here, and it's going to ask me to enter my, my password. I got so many different Wi-Fi names and so many different passwords around here. I can never remember which one it is. And the white light is flashing on the front. It should be ready to use. What's it say here on my phone? It says, name my device. Uh, cat feeder? No, actually, it's a fish feeder. And there we go. It's done. Device cat feeder. I click on it and um, that should, there we go, and probably set up a schedule. Okay, so here you can set up a schedule and how many portions to feed and then you just, uh, you know, it'll tell you when it's low on food. It's low on food. It's telling me that right now. That's my message. So once it's full, it will tell you when it's getting low and uh, you can set up a schedule and add a schedule, which I'm not going to do yet. I'm going to let the wife do that. She's the one that feeds them. And uh, if you want to feed something right now, I think you can probably just tap that and it will trigger the unit to feed. So if you're sitting watching TV and you got cats that are anxious and they want something to eat, you can just load up the app, tap feeding, and give them a portion. And depending on what, how many portions you want, if I want to give them another portion, if I want to give three portions, I would just click three portions and it's going to give three portions of food. Very simple. Okay, I'm going to take this inside, wash this out, dry it out, and then uh, we'll load it up and we'll test it on the cats. I should point out that this bottom piece does come apart. Just turn it. Okay, it does come apart. Just turn it, it'll come apart. Just turn it like that and that comes off so you can clean the impeller as well. Get everything nice and squeaky clean and dry and then just put it back together just like that and then the unit just uh, fits on like that locks in place and then this little hole I think goes in with that little a little arrow on here I think that faces the front because it's not it's not the same depth if you put it in backwards it's not gonna sit right you see so it goes in with this little arrow facing the front so this is now clean. I've cleaned the I've cleaned the bowl, I've cleaned the impeller, food delivery system, and the, the container. I'm gonna take it in, we're gonna put some cat food in, I'm gonna grab my other camera, and I'm gonna see what my cat does. I got one that's sitting, waiting to be fed. So let's just dump some food in. That's enough for now, I think. Oh, they're all showing up. Well, three of them are showing up. There's another one around here somewhere, but there's a there's a fourth one that's uh, undergoing treatment right now as he's quite sick, so he may or may not make an appearance right now. But I got three of them here waiting to see what happens when I put this down and press a button. There's the other big one right there. 
They're all hungry. All right, all right. Let's let the fun begin. Feeding time. Whoa, whoa. I gave them three helpings. Here they come. Didn't take long. Here comes the third one. The fact that it's portion control, you can control how much a cat eats rather than just leave a full bowl out so that they don't pork up like this big one here that will sit there and eat the whole thing. <laughs> but. Anyway, there it is. It works. It, it, it's a hit so far with my cats. I'm sure it will be even a bigger hit. This is not where it's obviously going to sit on a permanent basis, but uh, I just found an outlet that was close by and plugged it in. And as you can see, I got one that's now waiting for her turn to uh, get in there and grab something. And I have a third one that's just waiting. Oh, phone rang. That scares the hell out of the cats. Okay. So the phone rang and scared one away, so now the other one's getting her fill. And of course, Big Joe, he's back there again. That's going to be the, the nice thing about this is I put down three portions there because it was three cats, the other one's waiting her turn. But uh, the nice thing about this is you can limit how much they get. So you don't end up with tubby tabbies got two of those. My cat in treatment is down. The other food is gone. I'll give him one feeding. Give him his portion. And as sick as this little guy is, he's got cancer. And uh, he's undergoing treatment now. And of course my Siamese cat's turn now. So it's been a hit with all, with all the cats. What are you, nervous on camera? Anyway, um, this video's gone on a lot longer than I thought it would. Just wanted to show this off. But as you can see, it's a hit with the cats. Can make feeding them a lot simpler than having to get up and fill the bowl every time somebody's hungry. Thanks for watching. I'll put a link in the description. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.